What's going on guys? This is Strength and Conditioning Coach Brett Bartholomew with yet another tip for my 12-week Strength and Conditioning program for fighters, Savage and Simple. What now is establishing a fight plan and really knowing how to approach it with a coordinated attack. The best way you can do this is what I call reverse engineering. When we reverse engineer our fight prep, we look at the fight day or fight night, right? We understand that this is the time where we've got to be firing on all cylinders. Everything leads up to it. It's the most important thing. The issue is, is most fighters approach almost every week the same. It's just intensify, intensify, you know, try to, try to mimic all these fight demands. And that's actually the opposite way you want to look at this. Your fight approach needs to exist on a continuum, meaning every single phase complements the next one. And when we think of the first phase, where you guys want to start, that's really setting your foundation. And this is where you have to be the most simple. We're looking at total body workouts done anywhere from three to four days a week. Uh, it's usually lower intensity. And what we mean by intensity is the weight lifted. I know a lot of people on YouTube think intensity is bouncing around doing crazy exercises, but the actual definition of intensity refers to the load or the amount of weight lifted. So we have a low intensity and a higher volume. Almost everything you're doing is in this five to 10 rep range. Now, no, you're not gonna gain a bunch of muscle and gain a bunch of weight. That's a diet related thing. A lot of times people think that if I lift heavier, uh, uh, either a heavier weight or if I lift for more reps, that all of a sudden I'm gonna start getting bigger. Nothing could be farther from the truth. What you're doing here is working on shoring up a lot of your imbalances. So one workout could be as simple as you doing a plyometric, whether that's a form of box jump, whether that's hurdle jumps, even like a dumbbell squat jump for a loaded explosive movement. And then separate of that, you're gonna do another series where you could do a one arm dumbbell bench press or overhead kettlebell press to take care of the pushing uh, side of the equation. Then you might do a single leg or double leg RDL, uh, something that's gonna focus on your glutes and your hamstrings, because remember, everything transfers from the ground to the fist. If your guy's legs aren't strong and we're not working on imbalances, you're not gonna be able to produce as much force as you want. Well, if we've got an upper body push and a lower body pull, now we're gonna reverse that if we're doing a total body workout. So now we're looking at an upper body pull, so that could be a pull up, that could be an inverted row. Both exercises are included in the 12 week program. And then you're looking at a lower body push. This could be a lateral lunge working in the frontal plane. It could be a single leg squat, a step up, but it can be that simple. You do three to four sets of those exercises, make sure that you're resting in between. I know a lot of people think, well, I, I don't wanna rest, I gotta stay in shape for fight day, fight night. Keep the goal the goal. We are not trying to mimic fighting in the foundation phase. We're trying to strengthen the muscles involved with fighting. We're trying to make sure all these imbalances are taken care of. So foundation phase is very simple, just building all the capacities you need, not even getting too cute with conditioning. Keep it basic. Phase two, now we intensify, which means we're gonna start lifting heavier weights, recruiting type two motor units. We're, and, and what that means in nerd terms is we're recruiting the muscle fibers responsible for explosive, fast movements. So even though you may feel like the weight's moving slow, you're actually creating maximum force in that muscle, which is the same thing you need to be able to knock out an opponent. When the weight goes up, the volume goes down. So now our repetitions are in the one to five rep range. You're still gonna focus on a total body approach. If not in each workout, then over the course of that. So even if you go upper body day one, lower body day two, upper day three, lower day four, you're still balancing out single leg, pushing, pulling, making sure that you have a well-rounded program, just like you have a well-rounded fight strategy. You're never just focusing on one skill. It's a multitude of these variables. Now, we'll start to leak in some more uh, conditioning here. And it's gonna be more uh, short bursts. So five seconds on, 25 seconds off. 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off. We're trying to hit energy systems that you're not gonna get a lot in your normal fight training. You're always gonna be working in this kind of a you know, three to five minute range when you're prepping, when you're rolling, when you're sparring. Well, we've gotta hit these other energy systems, that and the aerobic, to make sure those pathways are complete. Phase three, now we start to specify. And by specify, I don't mean you're taking a dumbbell and trying to mimic a punch now. That's the absolute worst approach you could take because you're taking a fine motor skill 
and trying to overload it. And motor learning research, which again is a nerd term of just saying how we refine certain skills or striking or grappling, motor learning will get screwed up if you try to overload it too much. There's always certain examples uh, th that kind of, you know, uh, don't fit that, that, that situation. Like we could take a landmine and do landmine punches, that's fine. But for you to actually try to mimic punching with hand weights, even though that's something a lot of fighters do, it's actually not only not great for the shoulders, but it screws up that motor pattern and that finesse. What we're talking about specifying here is now we're really getting into more explosive power type training. Everything's ballistic. We're trying to make sure things happen at the speed of the fight. So whether you're doing a lower body strength training exercise or upper body, everything is powerful and intense. So again, we have general, we're going lower weight, higher reps, working on imbalances, asymmetries. Okay, we're going intensification, where now we're getting heavier weights, really targeting max tension because you're going to need that to generate force. And now we're looking at more ballistic categories and, and with your conditioning, obviously that's already ramping up in your fight prep. So really here we just got to make sure we don't screw you up. You can do a lot of things. You can do strongman circuits. You can do short bursts on the Versa climber. You can do ropes. It doesn't matter the method. You just want to make sure that you limit the dosage so it's not interfering with your fight prep. The point is, guys, is it's not about one phase, which is more important. That's going to be different for all of you. It's about the coordination and implementation of all these together to make sure that you're doing just the right amount, just the right way in time for fight day. And that's what Savage and Simple is all about. To learn more about other strategies, uh, more specifics, when I'm talking about energy system or rate of force development, all these terms that you kind of heard me say, click the link below and it'll take you to a free 45 minute webinar where I'll get as in depth as I can and give you a full breakdown of the science behind our program.